Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50, second round match between Dalibor and his Dark Elves. You've just, <laughs> you've just had <laughs> a Blitzer killed. <laughs> oh my god, and the Apo doesn't get him back for this match but stops him being killed. Well, there you go. How much does Throw Rock suck? Um, a lot. It still says kill there, but that's just a display, like, visual bug. So there you go. He's got a pretty nice Dark Elf team. A bit a bit less great now, after losing after losing this Bludge Step Guard Blitzer for this and the next match. Instantly. Um, are there any inducements? A babe for Contagious E. And, um, yeah, Contagious E in his... In his Necromantic team, pretty nice, pretty nice necromantic team here, honestly. Uh, block guard, mighty, fleshy's great, obviously. Guard on both whites, one's plus strength, a plus strength ghoul, a plus edge ghoul with block sure hands, and two bludge tackle wolves, one's got mighty blow, so it's like, it's a bit like Davo's team that won Chalice last season, right? It's kind of min max. Got everything you need. I mean, obviously, you could have a block guard, fleshy. It's all he's missing, really, is block guard and his fleshy. And apart from that, it looks very much like Davos' team. Um, so, yeah, very interesting. Um, Dalibor's team, he's got the edge up. He's got a couple of mighty blow tacklers. Which is a little bit excessive, isn't it? And he's got a few guards. But, uh, wow, what a start. What a start that was. That, that was an absolutely brutal start. Cast an apple gone and not really working. Boy, howdy! Man, kickoff events suck. <laughs> well, this is a uh, bald putting in the guards to get a. Block against stand firm, which doesn't work. And I guess he's going to have to mighty blow blitz the white as well. Well, not spectacular, but they're totally fine, right? They've got everything they need, which is blodge tackle. <laughs> yes, yeah, the, the, the death is... It's good for us watching the replay, I mean... In real time, it probably made Dalibor take even longer because he didn't know. You know, it's it's a harder situation. But yes, on the replay, at least there's less there's less men to be moved. So that's good. So Fleshy can hit straight back. Oh wow! Gets the one in nine re-rolled into a one in thirty-six. Unbelievable. So I mean, it was essentially one in eighty-one overall, but that was very unlucky. Very unlucky indeed for contagious Eric. Is he going to try and get? Oh, it's hard for him to get tackle on the wolf. I guess he's just going to. I guess he's going to hit the strength up. I guess he's going to hit the strength up Y. Especially as he's followed. Dalibor has one fame. This is pretty, this is pretty dangerous because it's going the long way around. It's not going to have too much move left. I guess just about enough. Wow, cheeky 1D, pal. Eh, probably not. I, I would think he's Contagious Eric on Discord, so he's probably called Eric. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone can come in and tell, it's an alt, tell us it's an alt, but not tell us who it is. That would be useful, wouldn't it? <laughs> not that I'm bitter or anything. Probably fine, yeah. And they're 65. I mean, 51 to get the skills.
That's a four skill line on. Yeah. Pretty good, isn't it? Blood Shoe Hands Edge 5. Assisting the ball carrier. This is a, a bit shit. Makes the GFI. Gets the knockdown. Does the 1D pow? Shut up. Oh, yeah, this wolf. Oh, yeah, so I thought the wolves were quite good, but this one's Edge 2, so he's a bit crap. Holy. I mean, how lucky is that to 1D? 1D full power bludger. When the ball's like pretty much exposed to him. It's outrageous. Outrageous good fortune. Uh, this wrestle ghoul's still available. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 GFI. I wonder if he'll go for that. Oh, Grickner. No, just going for the wolf on the mighty blow. Fair enough. Does nothing. <laughs> Four dice with tackle, nothing. After a one dice full pow, wonderful. I mean, the problem is if you if you if you do the dodge G5 for to uh, to hit the ball with two dice, even if you power me, just gets it back up again, and now your your ghoul's exposed to getting hit by mighty blow tackle. So, you know, maybe just try and be sensible for a turn, try and get back in control. I don't hate it. Oh yeah, I hate it from Dalibor. <laughs> I mean, he had a 1D pow this wolf, really, to secure it. And even that didn't fully secure it. But he may be tilting, right? He did, he did get one of his best players cast instantly from the kickoff result. This is a lot better though, isn't it, getting up and away here. Rolling some two pluses. Funny, isn't it? This is the difference between like elves and dwarves. If this was a dwarf team with all of this shit in front of him in the middle, he'd be taken like, you know, be touch and go if he could get through in the rest of the half, but Elves are just like, yep, let's just go all over here in a full cage. He's really focusing this mighty blow mighty blow tackle with his own mighty blow claw tackle and doing absolutely nothing to him continuously. Oh god, running running the fleshy away from I really like having the fishes in front of the, the opposing team. Gets the foul in. This is a pretty good foul, I guess. Just the one ghoul. So only 12 players for the Necro. No send-off. And 12 players for the uh, Dells. Problem here is Surfs if you uh, if you go for this hit. And now the non knockdown. I guess the knockdown. I wonder if he should have re rolled it if he didn't get it. 
super interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it, having the strength guy and then, I mean, that that's the perfect carrier, right? Blodgster, not Blodgster, Blodge, sure hands and stats is pretty much all you need, but obviously sidestep would be nice. I mean, everything's going to die eventually, Chandra. I mean, I know, but also water tends to be wet. <laughs> There's not much of a point there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, GFI. Yeah, you got to get this fleshy in. And look at this waste of a fleshy here. If that other fleshy had gone down there, it could have come in and done something, but instead it's just got to run around and do fuck all. versus Mighty Blow Seashell. Oh, rolls a double one. Yeah, I would have put the fleshy. Well, I would have had both fleshies there, right? Because I would have had the, this fleshy would have gone further back. So I would have had both fleshies there. But yeah, I would have think. And I don't know, actually, to be fair. The fact that he's got other stuff here. I think that be, having the fleshy holding here is probably better. And in fact, maybe this fleshy should have gone to here. But it, again, he might not have been able to reach there. Oh wow. Oh my god, that wasn't that was kind of an early GFI there, wasn't it? Very unlucky to fail it, but now boy howdy. Boy howdy, it's time to get rowdy. Sidestep. Doesn't matter. Uh, he sidestepped to here. Didn't he have to sidestep to? Oh, he couldn't. He had to sidestep there because he gets surfed out that way. So there's no way to stop him getting surfed. Rough. I thought that's wrong, but it's not because he could have just got instantly surfed that way. So now. That, that's actually the correct one, isn't it? Because it makes the dodge and he's edge, he's edge two. So that was a great sidestep. Great sidestep from Balibor. So now he's got to get the... Uh, the ghoul's got to get up and dodge to surf. Oh, he only wrestles. God, it doesn't do the 1D. I think you probably have to do the 1D here, right? There's all, you've only, this is your last turn. So you've got the reroll to use. So you um, so you do this 1D and just try to pal him. <laughs> although, although, could he have could he have done anything? Yeah, he was the only one who could reach. Why was he going there? Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm going to... Right. So he was, he was this. Yeah, he's, yeah, he should have, he should have learned his lesson, not GFI. Was he blitzing? I was just going to tag him. I don't know why he's doing this. That was really weird, wasn't it? Like, it's turn eight, and he's got a reroll. 
so oh so he he hasn't got guard so he's tagging him so that this guy can blitz dodge blitz him you can be my three four time. five six seven gfi gfi yeah so he dodge blitz this guy oh glorious rick hello congratulations on beating the filthy looker <laughs> purple chest who somehow somehow got the amazons that would surely would would have won chalice um <laughs> but yes congrats <laughs> so yeah so i've so the point of this tag was was surely he was going to make a four plus dodge 2d him and then dodge away and then go in the end zone and then this guy was going to go one two three four five six g if i pass to him so that was the player which to be fair was probably the right player just it just like looked kind of stupid they did a random gfi roll the double one and, and got removed but it was actually a pretty good play so there you go and uh well rolled rick well, Jim, if you don't lock the door all sorts will just come wandering in oh hello pc speak of the yeah. devil the, the the guy who somehow somehow got pa got past that amazing amazon team hello. i was hella lucky getting past the amazons it was one of the fights of my life jim yeah. Um, I have meant to upload it under the, the tagline, possibly the best Blood Bowl game ever, but I just haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> you, um, you while he's here, Rick, this well played and well done. Um, I guess the whole PC GFI thing is not dead as a meme. <laughs> yep, correct. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I'll play worse and win than that, but there we are. It wasn't to be, and that's Blood Bowl. Yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't like it wasn't a dicing or anything, was it? It was just like there were some important things that went the uh, didn't go your way. And I guess. I, 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 guess mean, I, I thought I had him, Jim. You know, mm -hmm. I thought I got my score done pretty well. I never felt under that much pressure. I had a couple of routes to do it. I took the easier one and got it done. I thought. On his drive, I thought I hemmed him up pretty well. You know, I got to the point where even if he hadn't left that beard weirdly free, my tackle runner was two G GFIs from hitting them skink there was no way he could escape from it and then the other one could have picked up but it wasn't to be this is terrible it, it, you know, literally could terrible. Maybe six. I could break a skink all night turns out reddit lied to me I know yeah who knew who knew well I'm a bit upset about that mm. I specifically went on reddit and they said hit the skinks <laughs> yeah just simply remove the skinks I tried <laughs> you've got to go but for yeah. the kills that's the key yeah I hit him every chance I had, but they didn't go. No, you you have to you have to go for the kills again. It's 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 really easy, you know, a really simple thing to yeah. do. You just go for the kills. Well, I've always said I've much to learn. <laughs> Clearly, that's the case. Yeah, yeah. maybe no, next it was time. fun. It was a fun game, but yeah, obviously a bit annoying. I felt I had it, and then I just needed two non ones out of three. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of hated Rick going like there instead of there, right? I would have definitely gone as far away as possible because he he, yeah. let, he left in that one GFI hit, didn't he? Otherwise, it's going to be yep. a runner that had a double GFI. Yep. That. But, um, yeah. So it could have been two plus two plus for two die, but it was two plus for two die. And also, then I could bring over, you know, the just dodge runner to pick up, and then the main runner to foul. Yeah. Yeah. And then if that worked, I could dodge off a blitzer and mark the only Saurus that could hit me to make yeah. it completely impossible. So it was only some very simple little dice, but that's Blood Bowl. They were still dice, and they didn't work. Mm. Mm. I just and didn't then, like it, Rick. I just didn't after like it. The, stage, after that, I thought it was all right. I didn't have a good look at where he could have gone, because um, you know, the way I'd stuck him in on the side, I knew he couldn't get fully away anywhere from the runner. So he needed the power, didn't he? He needed the power and the, the initial he hit. He yeah. could have got away from the runner then if he powered. Yeah, then he could. Then I could have been stuffed. Yeah. I could have got a tackle zone on him then, but not a hit. Yeah. Um, and I had thought we would probably go to overtime, but then suddenly I thought we wouldn't, and then we did. It's and then overtime was a bit of a disaster. I, there was still a, a five plus on my dodge to get into the cage until the very last gig did the very last go for it. But again, that was a turn where just everything worked. And that happens in Blood Bowl. So, no complaints. I did the best I could do, and it wasn't to be. Yeah.
<laughs> and this is uh, just quietly. There's a game going on here, and, and yeah, everything's there is, dying sorry. and getting removed. So <laughs> it's looking very good for Contagious E right now. Yes, that was the thing, not getting removed. But it wasn't like it wasn't really unlucky. But like, I mean, there was there was nothing like really unlucky, was there? It was just it was just no. you know it just, was just below just what you'd expect. Unlucky here and there, yeah. yes. Below what you'd expect overall, and then obviously the key things as well, like that double that double GFI failing and stuff. And, yeah, you know, it wasn't the end of the world, was and, it? And you know, almighty blows doing a lot of hitting and getting no traction. Yeah, you know, and then of course, I mean, eventually a dwarf was going to go, and it did. And then I was always at ten, which was always going to be tricky. Yeah, you know, it's just blood bowl. It's fine. Yeah, but you know, and after all that, if you win the toss, you probably win. And then obviously losing yeah. the toss and then getting pitch invasion means yeah. means Or if I bring the AV six, or if I make those two non ones out of three, but none of those things happen, Jim, and that's yeah. blood bowl. Yeah. Yeah, but again, nothing like crazy, right? There was. It wasn't like. No. It wasn't like. It wasn't like me playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> well, like any of my any of my GG tour games that were all insane. <laughs> Even the one I won, like I absolutely diced the pants off Cheeky Jimmy. <laughs> I, I didn't have a single yeah, normal one, game. I won them all once we got to OT and Rick won the toss. It was yeah, always going to be incredibly difficult. Um, but even then, yeah, that that and the pitch invasion and then the breakthrough turn, where just pretty much everything was fine. Quite a few go friends that were fine. You know, I mean, it was, it was exactly what I would have done. Rick did the right thing. I'm not saying he didn't. Just quietly, the uh, necromantic coach managed to find the one frenzy trap available to him and went for it. Yeah, that Amazing. was insane. That's what I thought. <laughs> Classic necro coaching. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's all all right because you know, it tends to work out, yeah. which is why Space Cadet calls them frenzy opportunities. Yes. <laughs> This is over. Don't say it's over. Gets the full power. Well, it's not, because elves, and they're much more responsive than, say, dwarves, so you can always suddenly find a turn or a couple of moves. Um, and if the necro insist on doing you know, a, a slightly confusing thing, given their array of much better options, yeah. that he's might help too. He's down well, I mean, here, for example, <laughs> you know, they've left that cage somewhat too open, to my mind. Yeah, you can cancel the zombie in front of the ball and dodge in very easily. So that's what I'd be doing. Yeah. Dark elves aren't, but the one die there was very, very easy, like seventy-five percent to get a one die. Yeah. The problem is without tackle, it's just a bit. You're only thirty percent to get him down, aren't you? After you do it, it's. But yeah, there was more chance than he should have had for sure. Yeah, I mean, perhaps he is thinking that he'll get his tackle more. You know. Available and then use that. You might get him more dead this turn. Yes, <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. He targeted him relentlessly in the first half, and so I mean there were ways, ways to try and come with the tackle, and if it got there, it was still only a you know 55 percent to get in there. Mm -hmm. But hard to get a one die that way. Not impossible. Yep. <laughs> and again, we haven't dealt with this tackle. We we, we have a plan to, don't we? We're wolfing it for sure. Yes. Yeah. But this is a. Ooh. Oh, okay, we're going all the way around the houses to do it, because we're a wolf. And there you go. No, yeah, no tackle hit for you, buddy. <laughs> That's game done. Now, I think even Elliot will forgive us a GG. Yeah. Yeah. Even Elliot. Is he here? <laughs> can, can we have an whilst Elliot was, verdict? Whilst I was reading uh, Reddit, and it said hit all the skinks, then that'll be fine. Lied to me. Mm -hmm. I, I think you should. Have, said, I think you should have really. They can't hit ball, but he's allowed it. That's, yeah, like yeah. why? Why even do that? That that goo could have just been there, or even like here. Yeah. Like there was no need yeah. to make it that easy. Like uphill with wrestle isn't that bad. That's kind of crazy. No, it really isn't. Maybe and he just wanted him to get all of his players around the ball so he could hit them all with his <laughs> with his mighty <laughs> blow. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine leaving that hit on. Oh, he can chain. Oh, okay. Well, he couldn't. If he if he had pushed and then uh, and then powered, he could have. No, he couldn't. But he, you know, he could have. He had all things changed, didn't he? I still think probably hitting with a with a mighty blow was better, but never mind. That's a good reason not to. It usually is. Yeah. Oh, 
And it's, as you say, it's all going to be okay. There's just so few elves now, and there's so much gap. Yeah. It's hard to really. Uh... Which is why, as you said, you know, two dice uphill with wrestle isn't that bad. You had to have a proper go at it, didn't you? Yeah. But it was I like that so. six plus. It. It was a ridiculous yeah. dodge, but if there, there was nothing else that was going to even vaguely work. The only thing I can do is put a tackle zone on him and hope that two die don't move me off him. Well, that seemed even worse to me. But yeah. Six plus, six plus three, four plus, I thought was, you know, at that moment the only option. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if he'd had tackle, he would have got him. And but again, the one go for it I needed to do snaked before that. <laughs> well, one before that. Otherwise, it would have been, yeah, a six plus with reroll, which isn't the end of the world. That's not good, but it could happen. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, well. It's not like you had any ambitions of winning the tournament with 1,500 dwarves, was oh, it? God, so, no, no, there's, <laughs> so some, there's some very nasty claw in either the next round or the one after that will destroy either me or Rick's team, I'd have thought. Yeah. I think I've never really entered with a team I had the ambition of winning with, Jim, yeah. and I've been in the final twice, so, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I, yeah, think, I think Rick's, I think Rick's got Dark Elves in the next round, hasn't he? Which is going to yeah. be, you know, that's, that'll probably see him off anyway, to be fair. <laughs> it probably will. I mean, that Lizard team's got enough to give me all sorts of problems just because it's fast and strong. But there's no tackle, is there? There's very little to deal with Elves. Yeah, and a... they will be able to get hold of the Skinks. Which they might have a bit of better luck than I did. Mm. So yeah, this is. I mean, are we just we want some more SPP on people? Do we? This fleshy. And off is to he the fleshy. score on the right fleshy. Yeah, I think he. I think he should. Yes, isn't he? Yeah. Well, two rerolls. He can certainly have a, a go or two before he has to panic and pick it up on an AG4 with short hands, which is fine, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's, he's got this stun right, so he can he can try. Yeah. As, as long as this guy is stunned, you can try for the handoff basically. Yeah. So it's probably only once, isn't it? Yeah, probably. And also, I wouldn't want to leave it to even a 1 in 36 on the last turn, so if this fails, I would definitely pick it up on the ghoul next turn. Yeah. But he gets it. Everything's coming up contagious E. Mmm. I did like handing off here or here. I didn't like here, because that just gives him the slightest chance, right, of one of these yeah. two scatters. But, um, never mind. No problem. Yep, because that AG5 is back this turn. Mm -hmm. But everything like this is totally safe, isn't it? There's only uh, probably one guy who can even touch the ball. He can fully wall it off. Like this is, it's finally over. One, two, three. Yeah, and, and even then he's moved six, so isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, he, he can, can just wall it, off. But, yeah. yeah, he can just wall it. Love me a wall. Mm. And a foul. Foul the edge five. Even though he's further away, just <laughs> just because he's edge five. No, you should foul the closest guy, shouldn't you? It is correct to foul the closest one. He doesn't foul either. Well, I guess there's a chance of a one turn, isn't there? There is a chance of a one turn, to be fair. Yes. To be fair... Oh, that was a that was a good point. Should have settled for the should have settled for the quick snap one turn. <laughs> yes, it? I should have done, and I didn't. Uh, yeah, uh, I Elliot. absolutely should have done. Elliot was fuming. Was genuine <laughs> error. I should have set up for the quick snap, particularly as I had a move seven. Although I still I think the dodge runner is better to go with. But yes, I should have set up for it. The thing is, with, with 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 like with the quick snap, you can then use the blitz to blitz through, can't you? Which uh, with tackle you can. I mean, with dwarves, you usually don't get to. But it, anyway, the back line was pretty thin. Mm. But yes, it's possible. Yeah, I think. Like obviously, as long as you could set it up without giving up mighty blow hits, like you know, then then it's something you should have done. But uh, yeah. yeah. Not going to deny the one turn. He's going to deny the one turn by him only having seven players. <laughs> is, is, the, is the only one turn defense you need? Uh, he can't do it. So he's just he's just playing for a riot. Yeah, the delves. And you can with a move eight, but not with a move seven. No, that's no, not enough. 
even with sidestep it's not enough and ghouls ghouls safely on the bench glorious not a risk of death from thrown rocks there you go that was a uh, much better than watching it live this has only taken 30 minutes whereas a live dalibor game takes about oh three god hours. yeah that would be all evening hmm Well, I mean, you can do them if you want, can't you? Yeah. He's doing them. It's it's super well, exciting. Some people say you should because it's denying the the opponent that's beaten you's next opponent. It's giving them a slight chance. I, I'm fairly ambivalent to what happens if I'm not out. To be honest. Yes, it doesn't matter, does it? Because it. No. Even if you're like, you know, even if you owe the rest of the tournament a duty to, to like, you know, give your all for the rest of the matches, it, it, one guy's losses, the other guy's gain, so it doesn't even matter, does it? It, it comes out in the wash, yeah. whichever way you go. Oh, well, I mean, sometimes got, I take hits on a, a dead turn like that because sometimes I'm in the mood to. But yeah. Usually yeah. I don't bother. You got it's the MVP fine. as well. Look, you got the MVP as well as a touchdown. That always happens to me. Whenever, I'm, whenever I dick about getting a touchdown, I always just get the yeah. MVP to make it irrelevant. <laughs> Touchdown and a throw from his next level, or yeah, two cats. Two cats, yeah. So uh, yeah, no, that that's that's lovely, isn't it? The yep. fact that it's accelerated it means I'd probably consider even maybe mighty blow, depending what he's facing next. But certainly block over guard. Yeah, yeah. Just it's, so it's, near that a couple of hits will get you there. That's the problem. It's got to be block guard, hasn't it? Like it, it yeah, it, just it has does to really. Because okay. you're, you're hitting things with your wall realistically, huh? yeah. Always because you're necromantic. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, let's have a look at let's have a look at the rolls. GFIs made six, failed five. <laughs> That's absolutely brutal, isn't it? Fifty-four percent on GFIs. But there you go. Commiserations to Dalibor. Congratulations to Contagious E. Uh, thank you for joining me briefly, PC, at the end. Like nice. Sorry, right. try and pop in after a game. You're usually interested in what I think or what I've done wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.